So there's a no. Oh, shoot! That fuse is meant to stop that from happening. Holy cow. I'm not sure what happened there. I've got the doors open now to air it out. That's the fuse, it didn't blow. Well, uh, that's uh, wrecked my loom. It was for my quick thinking, I guess, of cutting it, cutting the battery. I didn't, let's undo the battery. No, you know what, let's just uh, snip the battery off. Well, at least the engine's in. So yeah, I just, literally, I just snipped the battery off um, quickly, because I was like, no, let's just get rid of it. Um, I did, I was like, oh, well, that's gonna take too long unscrewing these, so. Right, not sure what happened there. Um, had spark, it was looking good. I hope these aren't damaged. These don't, these weren't warm. These aren't warm, so these aren't, these weren't burnt or anything, so that's all right. Yeah, that was, uh, that was a bit hairy. Oh my goodness, it's cold today. We've now gone subarctic temperatures now. Um, yeah, I've just been out for a ride, cleared my head, you know, usual stuff, and continue with the build. Um, I can't continue with doing the wiring loom, for obvious reasons. Really weird, the fuse didn't blow, etc, etc. Um, kind of like put my tools down, cleaned, cleaned up, and then ran away and left it. Um, so today, what I plan on doing is touching up some of the bad bits with some hammerite. See, it's not, I mean, it's all right. It's just, it's still solid, but let's just keep it that way. So tape all this up as I've got to wait for the loom to come anyway, and just rub this down, give it a little paint. Um, I did this with one of my other cubs and it actually held off the rust really well. So I'm just gonna get in there, paint all this up um tape all this up paint all this up and yes that's uh the plan for now until i get the bits okay so i gave it a nice little rub down got my paint mm. although that is actually not a not a, not a bad match actually even though that is um just smooth out these lines it's actually not a bad match. I mean, you'd have to take a panel off to be able to see where this is going to be. It's actually quite a close match, that is. And I did get rid of all the loose dirt and give it a quick rub down, but nothing major. It's roughly what I did with my other cub. And the bit that I hammer right didn't rust. However, the other bits that I didn't hammer right did. So I've learnt my lesson and we're going to do the whole lot everywhere that's got a bit i've been doing some work on the old bike here um that is hammerite it should be all dry now so i've hammerited the frame um just this front bit i'm gonna do the uh well the very front bit soon um still waiting for parts of course wow this tripod's metal and it is freezing my fingers um so yeah it's uh too cold to paint today uh, I've been doing the tank over here now, so that's what it looks like. Uh, I need to apply a few, another layer on each, I think. And that'll be three layers, and that should be enough. Um, it's not a bad red either, it's just off. Uh, but yeah, you won't see any of this, because it will be... Uh, you can see it's all um, brushes and stuff, but you won't see any of that, because that's where the petrol tank goes anyway, so that's fine. Hopefully the seals are okay. If the seals are okay, I'm going to leave it. But definitely change the... Um, liquid inside. Right, let's put this camera down because it's freezing and put some gloves on. There we are, bike's up in the air. I can't feel any notchiness, but you know, I'll probably be able to notice something. Any, any notchiness? No, I don't think so. But of course, once it's all off, then you'll then you'll feel it probably. Once it's all weight and all the weight's gone off of it, then I'll find out that I've probably got a massive notch in it. Uncouple this hose and hopefully nothing too bad. Right, so take the wheel off first, I think. I just realized I've got paint on my GoPro, so that's 
That's not great. Anyway, <laughs> um, yeah, I took the front wheel off. Looking very smooth now. I put it back in there just so I'd remember where it is. Spacer goes on the, the blah, 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 this side, left side of when it's facing, when I'm facing the bike. That's all good. The front seems all good. I'm happy with the front bit. So, yeah. Um, brake shoes seem okay. Uh, but yeah, there's a crack in here. So, why is that flashing? It's because of the, oh, the strobe effects on the lights. Whoops. Yeah, that's better. So yeah, you can see there's a crack there in the, uh, I don't know, get this out, clean this up, see if I can glue it back together. Then of course, hammer right the whole underside of it. Um, this here looks all good. I'm more than happy with all of this. That's quite clean, very nice. So yeah, I'll take this off, patch it up as best I can. It looks like it's been patched up before. Patch it up, clean it up, stick it together again. And then uh, hopefully, hopefully it's okay. Yeah, it's got a crack there and a crack there, which is a bit of a shame. Um, but this is quite a beat up unit. But yeah, I'm gonna try and uh, salvage this or save it. I mean, it's still quite solid, even though it's missing its connector there. It's still quite a solid connection. Um, so yeah, I'm actually quite pleased with it. But yeah, I'm just gonna clean up under here and hammer right it all in. So it looks a bit better. Oh, well, I got one of the forks off. Yeah, she looks right inside. Um, yeah, I can get the other one off now. Looks all right. Um, no pitting on this bit, which is where we want to. So we're just going to give it. I'm going to give it a clean down. I'm going to stick it in the vise. Give it a good old clean. But there's no pitting down this section here, which is really good. Oh, there's a bit there, but other than that, nothing that can really push anything past the sill. So I think I'm not going to bother changing the fork seals because they seem to be holding pretty well just give it a bit of WD just to get rid of the loose stuff to clean up really just the service of the fork oil right some pitting there so right so where am I up to right so I've got the uh put the light on so I've got the forks out I'm gonna leave them to drain overnight Ooh. Right, another day's passed, or two, um, and I've looked online how you're supposed to get this uh, suspension back on, and it's not super clear, but I'm going to have to find my ratchety ratchet somewhere, and strap it in, and compress the spring to get it all connected. So they should be all empty, they've been leaving them to drain for a couple of days there in the corner. Oh, where's the light? There it is. So yeah, I've been leaving them to drain for a couple of... Uh, days in the corner there so all the uh, brown liquid is out should put some clear brown liquid in this time not cloudy stuff right what am I gonna do here so forks on and try to change the tire today and change try to put the forks on but where is my ratchety ratchet I need to find that first because that's press the springs this is gonna be fun Uh, how do we use this again? Oh, it's raining again. Right, so. Sorry about that. Yeah, I don't actually need that on, really, do I? It's fine. Right. Let's ratchety this one up. I think I've got enough in it, so let's see if we can get this on up. Okay, I mean. Oh, that's better. It came out much smoother than that did than the last one I did. I pulled it back all the way, didn't I? Right. Right, so suspension is on. I've hammerited the mud guard. That's drying in the house because it's warmer in there and I'll be applying paint throughout the day. And now, new tyre time. So, I've got the front wheel off, so let's do the front tyre. I can't see any directional arrows on this. These are some, what are they again? Um, V-rubber something. I got them because they were cheap. Just over 40 quid for a set. So, 
can't complain. These are meant to be, this is what most people use apparently, so um, yeah, I'll go with these. These aren't full, full knobbies, I guess, but they're about the similar tread pattern to what we've got there already, so. And these, I don't know if you can see it on the camera in the dark, but in the previous videos I did show these off, and they are full of cracks in the uh, sidewall. Even though they are really new, they are they are perished. I think these were made, uh, yeah, 1990. The date there. Uh, I think these are 19. The first, the first day of the 20th week, 1990. Is that right? I, don't, I think that's right. Anyway, yeah. Um, classic historical tyres. This is actually in really good condition, considering its age. Um, there's a bit of residue, whatever that is. But there's not much rust. Um, Alright then, uh, let's put a new tyre on. I don't think I need to do much to this. Well, good news. I got the tyre on. It seems to be staying up. I will leave it up. Bad news, this thing has a stiff wall. Actually difficult to fit with levers. Um, not impossible. I got it on. Just a little bit of a struggle. So, if you're going to get these V-rubber things, then just be careful because these things are a little bit stiff um, but got it on the only thing that's not on is the rims not on properly so I'm going to de-air it and pump it up with something with a bit more oomph give it the uh, compressor on it because it's just not quite round the edge correct which is annoying but that might be because the inner tubes are old so I'm going to pump it up and if it doesn't go on the rim then unfortunately it's the inner tube. Inner tubes eventually get old, they they don't hold their shape properly. Right, well, that tire's on, it's all good. It was the inner tube. It was the inner tube. And so I need to order another inner tube. I'm still waiting for the paint to dry on this. So once the paint's dry on the, uh, what do you call it? The uh, front fender, I can put that back on. Then I can put the wheel back on. And once the wheel's back on, then I can take it off the stand and move it around again. Anyway, I think that's enough for this video. Um, thanks for the support of the patrons, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.